Okay, welcome back. Let's get cranking. We got one card left. It's this fifth core card. Um, I don't know what to do, to be quite honest. Um, these yellow uh, divisions are very powerful. I can activate any one unit if I wanted to. Um, I do have the allies alert special. So let me think about what to do here. So obviously there's positioning myself so we can, see this guy's surrounded, but we have, with him being next to him, we can easily get supply. Um, there's this fuel depot thing that would be nice to, you know, corral ourselves around. Um, so I could move to do that. There's a bracketed unit here that looks like he's easy pickings. Um, I could mess with that. Uh, or I could just activate any other one unit. And What's your YouTube channel name? Jackpot. So, um, sorry, my kids were asking me a question. I got sidetracked. Um, or I could just activate any one unit. And if I did, what would that unit be? Or I could do the special alert and deploy one of these guys, which I'm sort of tempted to do. because that area down there is being held only by a bracketed unit. That's the only thing that's stopping the tidal wave from coming through. Um, so if I deployed one of these, it would just be a two-step two unit. It would have to be three spaces away on a road, but like I could do that, for example, and deploy right here. It would take another action to move them up, to actually stack them there and put up a little bit of a formidable defense. Um, I think I'm more concerned about up here. I just don't know where to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to activate these guys and I'm just going to move this guy the top one here to there and defend that town. That'll slow them down a bit more. He's elite, he's in a town. Um, it's also not easy for the Germans to get to him. Oh, we're not done with the German turn, in fact. Um, this has a strength of three, five, and this is four, eight. That's 13 to five. Okay, so... Um, We gotta look at the uh, 13 to 5 is what? 2 to 1? That's not super good. So 2 to 1. Thirteen to 5 is 2 to 1, and so we're gonna roll for see what he does. I rolled a 9. So the they're gonna cancel the attack if it's less than 3 to 1. Okay, so um, no worries there. And in fact, we had more than five. We were um, in a forest, so that would have made it six, etc. cetera. So, um, sorry, I just needed to make sure we finished the German turn, which we did. Okay, so now everything I just did is valid. My turn's over. So now we go back to the German impulse, and thankfully they are getting lower. There's only four cards left. And we drew two of them, and this one will be the primary. No, nope, nope, nope. If it says Piper, it's always the primary. Piper is the Pied Piper. Okay, so this one does not have an event on it, so it's gonna just go there. And the Piper one always activates first, and it's going to activate Piper. Ignore allied zones of control. 
Nope, that's on turn 17. So what are we doing here? Activate Piper and the 150P. So two units are gonna activate. Uh, I don't know what good that's gonna do. Um, so the two units, obviously the Piper is here and the 150 is way back here. So uh, let's look at the movement, see what happens. Exit the map adjacent to the Muse, no and no. Move into an empty allied VP hex and stop. Not gonna happen. Cause surround. Actually, the Piper is already surrounding somebody, but nobody else causes surround. Open supply line. I don't see any supply issues. Um, methods five through nine are only for non-mechanized infantry. These guys are mechanized, so uh, not happening. So now we move to method 10. Move along the arrows. Well, um, Piper's already where he needs to be. The, this is the 150 right here. And his arrow is telling him to go here. And then this arrow is telling him to go there. So he is creating a nice little surround of, of that town. Okay, then Piper is staying where he is. He's, I mean, I guess he could infiltrate. He's allowed to infiltrate. Nope, only if he's stacked with an active unit. This, this unit on top of him is not active, so <clears throat> he's not going to infiltrate. Okay, so now they got to do the determination of whether they're going to attack. So the Piper unit is a 6. This other unit is a 3. That's a 9 to a 3. That's 3 to 1 from the start. However, we get plus 1 because we're in a town. So that's... Nope. If we're in a town, they said we double, don't they? No, double the strength of allied units in a city hex, not a town. Oh, I probably did that other turn wrong. My apologies there. I doubled something when I shouldn't have. What happens if they're in a town? I guess nothing changes if they're in a town. Okay, so the town is broken, so there's no uh, terrain there. Okay, so um, it is 3 to 1, because it's 9 to 3. And so I'm going to go ahead and roll the die. I rolled an 8, and an 8 says cancel if it's less than 3 to 1. It's not less than 3 to 1, it is 3 to 1. So we're going to go ahead and attack. Okay, um... I apologize for the short video, but I actually have to pause, take care of some family stuff here, and we'll be back to resolve the attack. Thanks a lot.